Hey guys, Hot Noob here, and yeah, I haven't posted up anything on YouTube in a while because I've been pretty busy, but uh, now that I got a day off, yeah, let's post something up. So I've gone ahead and added a new device to my quote home data center, and uh, as you can see, I'm recording with my phone because I couldn't find my camera, so hopefully it sort of stays in focus. Anywho, the one on top is the new one. I've got one drive out as a spare. No sense in leaving it in there. And uh, yeah, I got out as a spare because these drives are fairly expensive and really hard to come across. So uh, they are 600 gig, uh, 15k RPM fiber channel hard drives. So 600 gigs. And I've got 13 in the top array and then I got one on the top, so that's 14 drives. And uh, this is a DS14 MK4 uh, disk shelf which I'm using as a JBOD and um, the server is taking care of all the RAID and all that crap so yes it is software RAID but the perk is that I don't have to get myself a stupid expensive uh, filer server and use all of that apps crap so yeah I'll show you guys how I've done that since it is a little bit different than just a SATA array um, the SATA one was just plug and play but unfortunately the fiber channel ones are a little bit different uh, the fiber channel arrays or net app shelves actually have uh, their their sectors a bit different from the hard drives, so Windows can't actually use them until you do a little something with them. And that was a little disappointing that I had to install Linux on my server just to do this. So uh, in short, what you do is you install uh, Linux OS like uh, Ubuntu or whatever. Uh, then you install SG3 Utilities, um, SG Info, and then uh, space hyphen L, and that will list you all of the devices in, related to the array, pretty much anything storage related, and then it will show you which one is which. From there you need to run um, a command for each drive to format it. You do a low level format and you set the size of the byte sectors to 512 bytes. So you do sg underscore format, space, um, double hyphen, format, and then space, double hyphen, size equals 512, then space, um, double hyphen, uh, verbo verbose, or however you say it, and then you put in the path of the drive. And yeah, that's pretty much it to get in drives to work. After that, they will work in Windows, just plug and play. And uh, pa a perk about this new array here is that it is MK4, so it has 4 gigabit uh, fi fiber channel, or fiber optic SFPs in the back there. So the bottom array is going at 2 gigabits, the top one is at 4 gigabits, and um, with the software rate I'm getting about a write speed, or read and write speed, of about 350 megabytes per second, which is pretty darn good. And then I'll show you guys the sort of software portion. Alright, so here we are. Focus, there we are. And so you can see I've got everything rated into two drives. If I really wanted to, I could actually put this into one RAID, but then. Uh, you get into a lot more issues. I'd have to have both arrays on at the same time and you know one day I may not want to have both on or something or you know it just limits things. So yeah I've got the storage array. This is my first array. Uh, 5.91 terabytes as a RAID 5 and then here's the new one. One less drive and 6.54 terabytes. And then let's open up so you guys can see what it actually looks like on the software side. I posted up an image of this on my Facebook already, so yeah. Um, yeah, Windows is pretty good for the high level stuff, but when you get to low level shit, oh my god, real pain in the ass to do because of all the high level things, so. Um, so yeah, there's my fiber channel storage, rate five. And then we have a giant list of hard drives. Whoa. And 
it's sort of hard to figure out all of them. I like to keep track of every drive and what slot it's in. But other than that, yeah. Anywho, this is Hot Noob here, and you guys can come check out my blog at hotnoob.com, and I'll see you guys later.